Film the audience. There we go. Including you. Back across his head. Good. Film yourself. Hi. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Imagine that you're going shopping because you want to have a baby and you buy a cute little teddy bear and a soft blanket and you're all excited. Imagine you have a whole nursery all decked out to receive a new baby and month after month you don't conceive. A couple I know tried for years to have a baby. They tried adoption, they tried artificial insemination, they tried in vitro, and nothing worked until they used a surrogate mother. Today, they have two beautiful little girls because of surrogacy. And those girls look just like me because I was their surrogate mom. My name is Tara Bren, and I'm going to talk to you today about surrogacy. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the different kinds of surrogacy. Then, I'm going to talk about the benefits to both parties in the surrogacy arrangement. And last, I'm going to talk about some of the most common questions I'm asked about my experience as a surrogate mother. There are two different kinds of surrogacy, and I have flowcharts to help define for you. Uh, the most common kind is gestational surrogacy. And in this scenario, the surrogate is implanted with embryos from, um, that are created from the intended mother and father or donors or some combination thereof. And the important part of this is that the surrogate is not the biological mother of the child that it carries in this kind of surrogacy. The second kind of surrogacy is traditional, and this is what I did. In this case, the surrogate is artificially inseminated from the intended father or a donor, and she is the biological mother of the child that she carries. So, less common, but still used today. There are benefits to both parties in the surrogacy arrangement. For the couple, they get to choose the surrogate. They're relatively assured of prenatal care, proper prenatal care, a drug and alcohol free pregnancy, they get to attend doctor's visits, and of course they're present at the birth. So, and unlike adoption, I have a bar graph for this one, unlike adoption, where there are 27 couples waiting for every adoptable child, according to U.S. adoption statistics, in surrogacy, for every one surrogate pregnancy, there is one couple waiting. So that's pretty good odds. Much better. For the surrogate, those benefits are a little less obvious. Um, my husband and I got to choose the couple that we helped. We got to fly out to their home with our children to meet them, see their home, see how they lived. I am 100% sure today that those little girls are well loved and doted upon. Because I got to meet them and I felt very comfortable with them. In addition, the fee that I received as a surrogate mom enabled me to be a stay-at-home mom for several years, and that was something that was important to us, and so we got to do that because of surrogacy. When people hear that I've been a surrogate mother, there's two questions that they most often ask me. The first is, wasn't it hard to give the baby up? I always smile when I hear that question, and the answer is, it wasn't my baby. I never thought of it that way. The pregnancy was their pregnancy. The baby was their baby. My bond was with the couple and with the family that I was helping to create, not so much with the baby. I was excited about the baby, I talked to the baby, I sang to the baby, but it wasn't my baby. So um, I have some pictures here. Uh, this one's not so great. Me when I was pregnant, um, my boys as they were at that age. And then there's some pictures from the birth so you can kind of see what it was like at the birth. It was really just a wonderful experience. The second question I'm most commonly asked is, wasn't it hard for your husband and your children? My husband is a great pregnant daddy. Um, he's just a great labor coach. He was wonderful during the pregnancy with my cravings. and He was as excited and supportive as I was about creating this family and helping unite this couple with this little baby that they had waited so long to have. And with our kids, they were two and four at the time, so we were honest with them but age appropriate. It was easy for them to understand and accept that her tummy was broken, and so mommy's just going to grow the baby for them. We kept it simple, and it was easy for them, and they actually delighted in telling people that at the most inopportune times. It's kind of fun. <laughs> so would you act as a surrogate, or would you support your wife in doing so? If faced with infertility, would you consider using a surrogate mother? I hope the information I presented here has allayed some of the fears you have, maybe answered some of your most common questions. I also have a handout here that has some more facts about surrogates and the couples that seek to utilize their services, and also some resources in Idaho, surrogacy agencies and other such things that have more information. So I hand that to you, and you can take one and pass it around. In closing, two beautiful girls 
our life today and a family is complete because of surrogacy. I think my then four-year-old son summed it up best when he said, my mommy's tummy is magic. First she made my little brother and then she grew a whole other family. Mm -hmm. Thank you.